What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So Sony had a business event yesterday and co-CEOs Herman Holst and Hideaki Nishino spoke at this event. Um, and more specifically, Herman Holst spoke on their strategy moving forward regarding releasing titles on PC. And essentially what he said is that their strategy moving forward is what their strategy has, has always been, um, which is releasing uh, simultaneously on PC and PlayStation for live service titles and for the uh, single player games, uh, you know, their tentpole games, they're going to go with a different approach, which is pretty much the staggered release. Well, let me read part of his, uh, his actual statement. Uh, he said, we are bringing our titles to, P to the PC platform and we have a dual approach here on the live, live service side. We are releasing our titles simultaneously, so day and date on PC and PS5, that's for live service. For tentpole uh, single player narrative driven titles, uh, they take what they call a more strategic approach. We introduce our great franchises to new audiences and we find new audiences uh, that are potentially going to be very interested in playing um, the sequels on the PlayStation platform. Uh, we have high hopes that we will actually be able to bring new players uh, into PlayStation at large and into PlayStation platform specifically. So they want to draw people into the PlayStation ecosystem, which most people kind of like figured that's what they were doing. It's the bait, right? They're, they're using the, the bait, putting um, like the original games, for example, A Ghost of Tsushima, which recently released on, play, on, on PC, you put that on PC and then the inevitable sequel is going to come out. We know that's got to be what Sucker Punch is, is working on. So the PC audience, those that love the game, now there's a possibility that when they see the sequel, that sequel could possibly convince them to buy a PS5 and come into the, the PlayStation ecosystem because they love the original game so much. That's the strategy. And that's the strategy that they've, that they've been using. With that strategy, they, they now are still prioritizing the console, right? Because the 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 core fan base is still getting the game first and you're still making that money um and tapping into the potential uh the the potential audience of PC and maybe bringing them back to to the to the console if they don't that's fine you still gain whatever residual money you can from putting the game on on to PC one year two years later whatever that's the strategy and some people are really freaking mad at this like i'm talking about they are upset. Um, I want to I want to say it's a mix between the Xbox and PC audience who seem very fucking upset about this. Like you would think that he said something egregious. The way they're acting like they're acting like children throwing a temper tantrum. You, it, It's it's like. Like like what uh, Ken said with the PS3 expecting people to get two jobs or something like that they're acting like he said that like oh go get two jobs if you want to afford a ps3 he didn't he didn't say that like he said he, he's essentially saying like yeah we're gonna try to uh draw people in um to our own ecosystem and if they don't come they then they don't um either way it's gonna be there later on down the line for people who want to wait and like why are why are y'all mad about that so like i said this is not a new strategy right they're still prioritizing the console they're, tr they're still trying to sell sell the console they still care about that that hardware right so what what they're trying to do once again they put a their game on their console they release one of their first party games on their console once they've extracted everything they possibly can like all the 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 uh, big number sales out of that title hey put it on pc we're not losing anything anymore that this game is, has sold the bulk that it's going to sell at this point so let's put it on pc now right that's what they're supposed to do they're still supposed to prioritize the console they still care about that now let me make it very clear i'm not naive enough to believe ex everything execs say money will always at the end of the day money is going to determine what they do so they're saying they're not doing day and date for their narrative tentpole titles now that could absolutely possibly change within a year, within two years. I do think eventually it will happen, but people have been predicting and claiming that this is gonna happen every year 
since like four years ago, right? It, it, it's it's almost it's been almost like the the fucking Mayan calendar end of end of the year type situation where a lot of these people are upset because they've been claiming that it's gonna come every single year. 2020, oh nope, day, day and date PC games coming. 2021, oh it, it, it's coming. It, it could be this year. 2022, no, it's it's definitely gonna be this year. 20, every year, every year. So the thing is, a lot of these dummies who swear they know it, it's going to happen and they're going to act like they were right when it eventually does happen, because I do believe it's going to happen. Bro, if you say it's going to happen every single year, yeah, eventually you're going to be right. So it's not like you're so smart and you were ahead of the curve and ahead of everybody else because you kept on saying it, it's going to happen. Like, yeah, if you say it for 10 years, one of those years in, in the decade, it's probably going to happen. But you don't know any anything more than anybody else. So they're they're really like upset about that. And so my point is, I'm not saying that it's never going to happen. Money will always be the determining factor. If they determine that it makes it makes them more money and that amount of money, because it can't just be more money. It's got to be like it's got to be worth it. If they determine, they do the math and they determine that the amount of money we are losing by not putting it on PC day and date is significant enough to warrant a change, then they will do that. But if, if their math, whatever math they're doing, and I'm not acting like I know, like, um, like I'm smart enough to know the calculations on how to determine this, but if the math that they do says, hey, the people who buy our games on our platform are more than enough. And further down the line, we make whatever we make and we are happy about that. This is, this, you know, that is enough because, you know, it's entirely possible that there's people who are doubling up, like buying it on PlayStation and then buying it on PC later. I'm sure they have some type of statistic that there's some type of overlap and if the time frame in which they get that money doesn't really matter to them that much, meaning that like, OK, if, if they are, are OK with making with making that money two years later instead of two years before. If that if they do the cost, you know, the, the cost benefit analysis and all that shit and they determine that, then that's what they'll do. The money will always determine it. Right. So no, don't be naive enough to, to, to just take you know, everything he says as absolute gospel. That's what the other fan base did when their executive told them something. I don't do that shit. You know, I'm, I'm going to take you at your word for right now, but the future, I absolutely acknowledge that can change. But there seems to be like a, a, a crossover between the Xbox fan base and the PC gamers that are so fucking upset about this. And it's weird because essentially PC gamers love to say, Hey, we don't mind waiting. You, you know, we love the freedom. We love the freedom of PC and, and, and what we stand for on PC. You know, they, they always got their, you know, their fucking Bible of like how PC gamers um, behave themselves and, and all that. Stuff. You know, they, they, they got their constitution. You know, we don't do this. We don't do that. We stand up for PC. You know, you know all the shit. We have talked, I've talked about it, uh, you know, so many times in, in my videos. So they stand by that Bible, th those principles that they live and die for on PC. And one of those things is we don't mind waiting for games. We're, we're not pressed. We're not bothered. We're just going to wait for it to come to our platform, to come to PC, right? So essentially, Herman Hulse tells them, hey, either come to our platform or wait for it to go to yours. And now you're throwing a, a temper tantrum. Wait, you, you just said you'll wait. You literally just said you'll wait. The man told you to wait and now you're upset. How does that make sense? How are you mad because he told you to do what you said you were going to do and you don't mind doing it? That's the part where I'm all fucked up. I'm like, how are, how are you mad about that? How are you, how are you so upset? He told, he told you to wait. You said you wanted to wait and now you're mad. So, and, and, and as far as him saying, trying to allure and, and bring people to PlayStation 5, absolutely the majority of PC gamers will not budge. They will not. I've spoken about that. PC gamers, you know, like they don't even want to use another 
another launcher. They don't even care to go to Game Pass if it saves them money. They'll rather shell out $60, which I'm with them. I'm okay with that. They'll rather sh sh shell out $60 and stay on Steam than pay a subscription and, and play, and play uh, you know, Game Pass using the Xbox uh, launcher or whatever like that. That's, that's how, like, I guess you could say stubborn um, or adamant they are in staying where they're at. But there will be a few people, not a ton, there, there will be a few people that, hey, I really liked, for example, Ghost of Tsushima. I liked it so much, I don't know if I can wait that one to two years for it to come to PC. I want to play it now. So they go and get a P they go and get a PS5. Like I said, it won't be a ton of people, but it absolutely will be some. There's gonna, I mean, look how many out of out of all those millions, out of all those gamers, there's gonna be some that may hey, I don't mind that, hey, I don't mind, you know, getting a, a, a console and have have my my PC. And you know, I may buy some other console games here and there or whatever. Best of both worlds. So whether or not they, they, whether or not these PC gamers buy a PS5 or they don't and they wait, either way, they're buying it. You know what I'm saying? There, there's no, there's not really any loss. PlayStation isn't actually, it, it's, it's a win-win for them. Either you buy it on my, my, my console or you buy it on, on PC. It's still a win for PlayStation. Now, of course, there, there's the argument that they, they, probably, you know, they would get a bigger cut and a more immediate cut and, and money if you buy it on, on the PlayStation and their, and their ecosystem. Of course, that matters. But either way, it's a, it's a win win for them. So you telling them you're going to wait, it's not really hurting them. They're used to you waiting. That's, that's what you've been doing. So, where is the, you know, it, it's, it's, they, they're continuing with this strategy, I would assume because they've, like I said, they've tested it, they've done the analysis and said, hey, we're okay with this. I, I would have to assume they, they, they are okay with it because they, they crunched the numbers. And it, it, it's funny because there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who are disingenuous about this whole topic, right? Because they want to act like they're upset or it bothers them that PlayStation says they're not going day and date because they are, they want to act like they're concerned about the PlayStation brand when really they're being disingenuous and they want it to happen for, because there's an ulterior motive. For, they want it to happen for other reasons that are not beneficial to the PlayStation brand. Perfect example. Remember when Xbox fanboys wanted PlayStation to put their first party games day and date? How did that work out for Xbox now and the Xbox fan base? Every one of them absolutely regrets that now. All of them fucking hate that decision now. Putting their games day and date, specifically, I'm talking about in a, um, in a subscription service, not, not, not PC. Like, if the PC things, thing happens, it, 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 is what, it is what it is day and date. I don't think, you know, that is as bad as putting your game in a subscription service um, day and date. But remember, all these Xbox fanboys were like, oh, PlayStation are idiots. Sony is so dumb. Why would they, why would they not do this? And then now all of those same Xbox fanboys, absolutely regrets Xbox putting their games day and date in a subscription service. It turned out to be a horrible fucking idea. Because you saw everything, all the consequences and the repercussions that happened following them doing that. All studio shutdowns, layoffs, uh, you know, games, go, their games going to other platforms. All of that was ripple, ripple waves and, and, and effects from, from Game Pass and, day, and, and games going into big, these big AAA games going into Game Pass day one. Remember, they were crunching their numbers. They were mathematicians. They were, you know, they were CFOs themselves. 
They were Twitter CFOs. Look, I did. The, I crunched the numbers. I did it myself. It makes complete sense. Sony are idiots for not doing this. They, that's what they were saying. And now it turns out it was a horrible idea. So it would have been bad if Sony did that also. And it's a good thing they didn't, apparently. So some of them want PlayStation to follow suit, not because they think it'll be beneficial, beneficial for PlayStation and the, and the PlayStation console gamer, but because they want to see PlayStation in the same disastrous position as another platform. That's really what it is, if we're being honest. They said, we're, essentially, they said, hey, we are over here miserable and we are fucked. And we don't want to be here alone. We want your platform to make the same mistake that ours did. We want y'all to follow suit so y'all can be in the same exact position to their detriment. That's really what it is. That's all it is. It's not because it'll benefit them as a gamer. No, it'll just make them feel better. It'll just help them sleep at night. Knowing that, hey, PlayStation made the same mistake and the same bad decisions my preferred platform did. So now, now, I, now I don't feel so bad. That's all it is. They, they can try to fool you and put up this, this, the smoke and mirrors and this disguise and dress it up as no, it just, it just, you know, financially makes sense and it makes complete. No, 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 no. They want PlayStation to be in the same boat. As where Xbox is. Because they, they, you know, PlayStation has their own struggles. Nobody denies that. But a lot of them try to pitch this narrative that PlayStation is in the exact same boat as Xbox. And that is the that is the one of the farthest things from the truth. They have their own issues, but but there's levels to this. Like Xbox and them over there, they, they're fuck fucked. PlayStation is in some trouble, but I think it's definitely some things they can like pull themselves out of and figure out Microsoft and Xbox have put themselves in an absolute death trap box with that game pass shit. And I, I ain't trying to hear none of this fanboy shit because we, you know, er everything me and others have said regarding this about subscription services and all, and all, and all matters involving this, we've said that, Hey, this doesn't really make sense. This looks like a bad idea. And we were just called fanboys for it. When all we were doing was just being logical and trying to make sense and all the shit that we said came to fruition. So it's not that we were being fanboys. We were just being honest and being the truth and not being blinded by what some uh, but not being blinded by executives trying to change the narrative, trying to change the definition of success and all success and all that shit. So don't be fooled by that. It's 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 bullshit. That's that's all they they would like nothing more than to see PlayStation in, in, in the struggle Olympics that Xbox is in right now. They would love nothing more than that. And they are just on Twitter crying and upset that PlayStation won't commit to day and date with the single player games right now. They are upset about that. It, 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 bro, like they're, they're trying to, like I said, they're trying to dress it up real freaking nice. Just as like concern or just... Oh, oh, we're just asking questions and it's curiosity. And no, 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 it's not curiosity. It's not concern. It's not journalism. Some of you motherfuckers is just mad. <laughs> Let's be honest. Some of y'all are mad, bro. At them standing on the decision they made. This is the strategy they want to go forward with. And it doesn't really, like I said, it doesn't really hurt them because they could always pivot later. That's the one thing PlayStation has really done is like they, they don't mind sitting back and watching another organization do something and seeing how it works out for them before PlayStation jumps out the window and does the same thing. Hey, go be our crash test dummy. See if that works out for you. They look, they test. They're like, nope, we backing off. That don't work. Because remember, they, te like, they tested out um, the whole day one shit. Well, not the day one, not necessarily day one, but they put Horizon Forbidden West in, in PlayStation Plus pretty early way earlier than they would have just to test uh, what the results would be. And they said they ended up losing like hundreds, like, like cra a crazy money. I forgot what the amount was. Like, it was like a hundred million dollars over time or some shit, like some crazy amount that, that they would have gained if they didn't put it in the subscription service. So it, it's just very funny that 
PC gamers claim they're not pressed. They don't care about these games that much and all this yada, yada, yada shit. But they seem to be so upset that day and date is not happening yet. And one of the things that I've been seeing is them talk about like, you know, oh, you, you're trying to you're trying to pull me from my PC to a weak old PlayStation. Now, hold on now. Now, hold on. See, this is where PC gamers get to being hypocrites, because one thing PC gamers love to 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 taunt to, um, you know, just champion is how how great PC gaming can be on a budget. You don't need to spend money. You can go go on. A, you know, you could put a, put together a budget PC and have a way better time than you can on a console, you know. And when you push back against that and say, yo, don't buy no budget PC, save, save your money, save some more money and go with something a little bit better. Then they accuse you of being graphic whores. Oh, you just care about the graphics and all. But now. Hold on. So hold on. So now now you care about the power. Now you care about the graphics. Now you care about all that shit. When you also brag that most PC gamers have like a. a, a uh, an equivalent have a like a a, a a 1650 or a um or or almost like a 2060 or 2070 because you know they you know steam does those surveys and shit like that and i think like i think most people would agree that the the ps5 it's not apples to you know it's 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 not apples to apples because you know consoles and and, and gp and pc gpus and all that shit it's not apples to apples but it, it's probably close to like maybe a 2070 super 2070 ti maybe on that level. So the majority of gamers on PC don't have some super strong card is the point. The majority don't have some super strong card. They don't. So with that fact, moving from whatever card most PC gamers have to a PS5 is not that much of a downgrade for you motherfuckers. It's not. <laughs> it's really not. So the same PC gamers complaining about they would never move to a weak old PS5, those are the same motherfuckers that 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 got a, a card a GPU so old it's starting to grow gray hairs. Like shit came out mad years ago and they're trying to squeeze every little all the little juice they can out of that GPU until it coughs until it literally catches dementia. And Alzheimer's and dies. That's how that's how long these motherfuckers be holding on to these cards. So now it's a problem to move to a to move to a console because of power. But most of y'all claim y'all don't even like that shit is not even all that important to y'all. Y'all, I think y'all get what I'm saying. Like it's 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 a lot of hypocrisy here. Going to a console is is not the separation, the degree of power is not that huge for most of y'all. Most of y'all who claim to be like the, the purest PC gamers, like the purest, you know, they believe in for some reason they are against getting like the strongest cards out there. Like I got a 40, like I got a 4070, right? And but the PC gamers I'm talking about, they have this like belief where like, man, I don't need the strongest card. You know, my 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 uh my my 2060 or my 50, my 1650 is still doing great. I You know, remember, remember the other day they were like, oh, playing it, playing at 1080. 1080p was fine. They they were they they were preaching that bullshit on Twitter just the other day. Playing at 1080p is still fine in 2024. They said that the same PC gamers they believe in that ideology. They believe in that bullshit. They were spreading that they were spreading that gospel all around the oh no, get a get a cheap old PC and play at 1080p. Oh, but but play on a PS5. Oh no, nah, we can't do that. But playing at 1080p, oh nigga, let's do it. The fuck. It, 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 that doesn't line up. It, it 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 doesn't track. You can't say playing at a at a a 1080p and and, and start and start spreading that gospel around is fine, but playing on a PS5 is because of power is is an issue for you. That don't track. If you want to say you know it's really because of the freedom of PC, that's a different argument. But listen, I've been talking too long. Um, y'all get my point. So. You know, my point is, I don't really care. I, I, I would, I would, I would almost bet day and date does happen by the by the time like 
PS6 rolls around around that time, which would be like 2028, 2029, whatever. I could I could definitely see it happening by then. That's that's like four years from now. A lot of things could change. So I could I, I would strongly I would strongly believe by then it's happening. So it's not like I'm not in the camp like I would be upset if it ever did. And I do, I'm not in the camp that I don't think it's ever going to happen. I'm not in that camp, but I'm just saying some of y'all are on some bullshit and y'all are clearly mad and clearly hated and clearly upset. And y'all pretending that y'all not and y'all are, y'all are hypocrites. So, um, man, that was a long video. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Um, I guess I owed y'all this a video this long because I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I will be live streaming the PlayStation event later uh, today at like uh, six o'clock. So I'll be going live at five thirty. Yeah, so um, come check me out then. At come check me out then. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, yeah, PC gamers, how you gonna say you don't want, you don't want a toy, and then when somebody doesn't give you the toy, you you throw a temper tantrum. Y'all are fucking weird. I don't I don't want that. I don't care. I'm not pressed. Don't give it to you. Now you mad and screaming all over the internet. Whatever. All right. I'm out. Peace.